Carbon Capture and Storage explained. The U.S. Congress's recently passed budget bill includes incentives to support CCS, or carbon capture and storage. But what exactly is this technology? Fossil fuels supply most of the world's energy needs, but harnessing them emits large quantities of carbon dioxide that can cause irreversible environmental damage. One solution to combat this is carbon capture and storage, which works by first separating carbon dioxide from other gases at industrial facilities. The captured carbon dioxide is transported using underground pipelines or via ships to suitable storage sites. It is then injected into rock formation several kilometers below the surface of the Earth, where pressure and temperature conditions keep it in a liquid state. CCS can capture up to 90% of carbon emissions from fossil fuels, but experts believe it's most effective alongside other strategies, such as improving energy efficiency and switching to renewable energy. Take that, carbon dioxide! Carbon turned to stone in climate change breakthrough. Researchers in Iceland are hailing a potential game-changer for climate change after successfully converting carbon to rock. The project could help to reduce global warming by burying the waste CO2 produced by burning fossil fuels. Scientists at the Hultishedi geothermal power plant in Iceland have converted carbon dioxide into the volcanic rock basalt. Researchers pumped 230 tonnes of CO2 into rock 500 metres underground dissolving the gas in water to prevent it from escaping. More than 95% of the gas turned to stone within two years, speeding up a natural process that takes hundreds or thousands of years. A potential problem for the technique is that it requires 25 tonnes of water for every tonne of buried CO2. However, researchers say seawater can be used, which is abundant at coastal sites. The project is seen as an improvement on existing carbon capture and storage methods that store CO2 as a gas, causing concern about potential leaks. Researchers use sunlight to change carbon dioxide into ethanol. There's way too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, but some wicked science coming out of Cali may change all that. Scientists at the Berkeley Lab in California have developed technology that can convert carbon dioxide into ethanol using sunlight. This process is known as artificial photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants use light from the sun to create food and oxygen. Low amounts of solar energy were used in a copper-silver nanocoral cathode to produce ethanol. The researchers said their process used around 2.5 volts, half of what it currently takes to turn CO2 into ethanol. A carbon dioxide sucking plant just opened in Zurich. The alarming rise in atmospheric carbon dioxide has led scientists to develop removal technologies to counter climate change. One such company in Switzerland has built a plant that directly removes this carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The Climeworks plant is located on top of a waste recovery facility, which provides it with heat and electricity. Air containing carbon dioxide and other molecules are blown through several carbon dioxide collectors. The plant currently has 18 such collectors, which are large boxes fitted with filters that capture more than 2,400 kilograms of carbon dioxide each day. Carbon dioxide binds to the amines in the filter, while other molecules pass through and return to the atmosphere. Once saturated, the filter is heated to 100 degrees Celsius, causing the carbon dioxide to unbind and be extracted. The filtration system can be reused several thousand times, allowing this process of removal and collection to be a continuous cycle. The carbon dioxide collected by the plant can be stored underground, used to help make renewable fuels and materials, or supplied to the food and beverage industry. Climeworks provides 900 tons of carbon dioxide annually to a nearby greenhouse, which has reportedly increased their crop yield by 20%. Climeworks also hopes to remove 1% of global carbon dioxide emissions by 2025. A power plant that takes away carbon emissions. Say hello to the world's first negative emissions power plant. The geothermal plant in Iceland, in cooperation with Climeworks, will remove an estimated 50 metric tons of carbon dioxide from the air each year. The process works by pulling carbon dioxide from the ambient air using a special filter. The heat from the power plant warms up the filter, which extracts pure carbon dioxide. The gas is then combined with water and pumped 700 meters underground. When the carbon dioxide reaches basaltic rock, it forms minerals. 
The project is still in the pilot phase, but researchers at Climeworks believe negative emissions plants could be set up around the world. One major obstacle in place is the price. Climeworks estimates it runs around $600 to extract one ton of carbon dioxide from the air. However, if economies of scale can be utilized and more plants open up, that price would drop significantly.